Welcome back to this episode two, I guess, of the deer hacking that we did last time here on Greyhack. So, if you didn't see the last episode, we managed to hack into a player's server and gain root access. And uh, we also found their bank account and stole their money. Uh, and this was kind of an accident. I was simply going to use the server as a host for the hosting services mission, but uh, it kind of escalated when we found out all this cool stuff on the server. But in this episode, we will continue with the initial plan and make a uh, turn this server into a hosting service mission um, where, we, where we will be hosting the uh, mission on the server. So we grab the hosting services and as you can see here it requires a FTP service. Maybe I should uh, reiterate what I mentioned in the last episode. So uh, once you click accept you have 15 minutes uh, to upload the a uh, file to the server and uh, reply to the email and uh, therefore it's advisable to set up everything so it is done and ready to go when you hit the accept button and the uh, player server that we hacked was nice enough to already have a ssh and http both running and the files on the server there's also a ftp server file on the server that we can use uh, but just to show off how this would be done if we if it wasn't on the server already i will go into the browser on the server that i want to uh, run the services on i'll then go into the shop i think um well, it depends on whose server it is, but prefer probably be if you are a uh, root when you do this so that you have root access. Then we go into the one of those. And here we have SSH server, FTP server and HTTP server. So let's just grab all of these. Version one is fine. As you can see, they're being put into the root folder. So there we go. Let's close this. And now if we open another file explorer, we can see that uh, we have all the service uh, needed. The next thing that's uh, going to be like we need to do now is we need to run the FTP server file and the reason we need to uh, use the FTP one is because the mission uh, states that we have to install FTP server on a machine so the way we do that is we go into the root folder so this is it. And then we run the FTP. And since there are two FTP server, let's just run the one we download. Um, we have now started the FTP server. And uh, next up, we need to port forward this. I'm not sure, but I think we might have to do that in order to complete the mission. Let's just do that to make sure. And FTP is port 21, so we put 21 there and save. And that should work. Uh, to make sure if it works, we can use if config to see the IP of the server that we have hacked. And we can then use 
end map since the player owning the server was nice to put end map on here we can see that the server now runs ssh http and ftp so all of the services are running uh, in order to start ssh you would do exactly the same as uh, when you just uh, like when you started the ftp F the ftp server uh, however usually if like you rent a server to do this there will of course already be a ssh server running so you won't have to start that okay so now that we have i think pretty much everything set mm, yeah i can't think of anything else we are ready to accept the mission and we now get a mail with the database of that file and we need to have the server running until november 18th so today is the 16th and we need to have it running for two days in gray hack time and uh, we need to put the file in public uh, dash downloads the thing about uh, us running the uh, ftp uh, server file is that it creates the uh, dash public dash downloads for us so all we have to do now is uh, get the database of that file let's save that to our own, own system and then from our own system we just upload the uh, file onto the uh, system so there are a couple of ways we could do this we could just simply drag the file which is the easiest i think i'll just do that okay that's interesting we're getting permission denied if i open this with root access let's just double check that since that would be the simplest solution so we have downloads and we put this here yeah so uh, because the file explorer was uh, open before we had root access it was still uh, it still only had guest permissions and so we had to open the uh, file explorer with root permission uh, there we go there's a da database of that um, you must not interrupt access to the FTP server. So if the player who owns the server logs in and shuts this down, we will of course have failed the service uh, mission. Uh, answer this email with the IP of the server uh, to start the mission. And we have to do this within 15 minutes. So hopefully I have not rambled for 15 minutes. I don't think so. Uh, we would simply just put the IP in the response like this and we get the response that you provide is correct the mission is now active uh, you can make sure yeah not, do not interrupt it uh, one thing to keep in mind is that since these um, credentials uh, oh no sorry uh, hosting services missions are made by players players could also mess them up uh, and now that we have created this mission another mission was just created at least i think it should have been credentials needed corrupt data that's a bit weird. There might have been an update to this. Or I'm blind. Yeah, I can't see the mission that I expected. Um, one thing we can do double check here is we can go into 
browser and take a look at the wiki, which has all six of the pack shops. Then we can just double check that the mission was not posted on another pack shop. Because it might have been. Oh, there's another hosting mission. Let's just do another hosting mission then. This one, this time it's for a SSH server. And uh, this will also uh, enable me to show off a potential problem that you could encounter with this uh, mission. So in this new mission, we are supposed to Okay, so this is not a, um, this is not a file hosting. The client needs to have access to an SSH server hosting on a rented server by you to be able to use it to browse. You must create a new user with these credentials, you must not uh, interrupt access to the FTP server. So that's probably a typo. If that's supposed to say SSH server uh, from the outside at any time. Yeah, because it says SSH up here. So, well, it doesn't matter. We are running both FTP and SSH. So it's, yeah. Um, and then we just, so once we've set this up, we will be answering with the uh, IP. So how you would do that is, is you, would use, you would use the uh, user add command. So user add, and if you just type it, it will show us how to use it. So we use user add and then the username of the new user. So we just put the username they want. That's about right. And then we put their password like this. And now a new user have been created on the uh, hacked server that we're using. So if you look here in ETC, you can see that there's now a new user with a, a new password or the password that we set. And then we just reply to this email with the where did the password go? Or I mean the IP. I thought I copied that. Okay, let's copy it again. Maybe the clipboard got bugged. It's possible. Uh, so we just reply with this. The form of the IP is incorrect. That's interesting. Um, reply. Maybe it was because I put it down here. Yeah, that, that was it. So we have to put it above that. Apparently, data you provided is correct. And don't interrupt the mission. Let's see up here. Okay, so it did get the IP. I just missed that somehow then. Um, so now when we update this, we should see a... It is possible that I can't um, do my own missions. I know that it was possible before, but maybe that changed because I can't see the mission I just created here. So that's a bit disappointing because I'll have to wait for 
another player to host a, a mission like this for us to show off the lost kind of uh, mission. Let's do one loss just to thoroughly test this. And since I explained everything, this is going to be a bit quicker. So we just download the database of that file. And the thing about this is that these two database dot that files are not interchangeable. So what a player could do is they could exchange the database of that file on the system that they're hosting. And then when another player tries to complete that mission, uh, they will be unable to because it's the wrong database of that file. So let's separate them. Let's put this one in downloads instead. And then we just, uh, this one is exactly the first one. So we just put the file in the um, public downloads folder. And since there's already a database of that file in here, I believe that we could trick the system the thinking that we have already uploaded it you were able to do this earlier at least let's see if that still works we go reply and send and yes the data i've provided is correct but if somebody tries to do that mission they will get an error because it's a wrong database of that file and i can't upload two databases of that files with the same name. I could be nice, I guess, and mm, let's see here. Yeah, let's be nice and go in here, rename this to database two, and then drag that over here so that the player, if they want to, can finish the mission anyway. Might confuse more than help, I don't know. But that should work. So one last time, did this actually generate a mission for us? I guess not. But there you have it, that's how you um do the uh hosting missions in greyhack i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one